Come on in the kitchen. Come on in the kitchen. Come on in the kitchen. Let's jam. Hey, 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 hey. Come on in the kitchen. Come on in my kitchen. Come on in the kitchen. Let's jam. Let's jam. Hey, hey, hey. Let's jam. Hey, how y'all doing today? Come on in the kitchen. Come on in this kitchen. Let's jam. I am making some homemade dough calzones. What calzone? However you want to say it. However you think, it's okay. Anything goes. It's family fun night, okay? You can make it in shapes. You can make it however you, circles, triangles, you know how the kids do it. However they like, that's what they do, okay? So I'll sit this to the side here, and I'll make this one out. And I'm using a rolling pin. If you've got little fingers, you can dole, you know, you you know, you know, spin your piece around it. You spin your piece around. Anything goes. A little flour, and roll it out, okay? Now, you don't have to have a stone, a piece of stone like I have. You could use a baking sheet, cast iron skillet, whatever you got, you use it. Don't go out and buy nothing extra. In a day and time like this, you use what you have. And this is why I'm making these type of things because I know you got some flour in your cabinet. Maybe a little sugar, I got a little salt. Whatever it is, you might have it and you can make you some dough. You don't have you may have to go run out and get some yeast. But if you ain't got to run out and get it, then you can probably make it without you could use it on regular bread. Use what you got. Use what you got to make it work. Y'all know how to do that. Get creative. Alright. So here is another one. And this one, I'm not gonna have flat. I'm gonna fill and put it in the oven. So I'm gonna grab. I'm going to grab a baking sheet for this one. Oh, that smells so good. If you can smell what I smell. Just a regular baking sheet. This is going right on. Just like that. Come on over here with me so I can put the fillings right inside. I am, this one's going to be a little different because I'm going to make this one like a piece of, I'm going to use some um, spaghetti sauce. in this all right come on over here with me wait i can bring it over well i'll go back over here this easy for me easy for me so i got a pan right i'm gonna just put spaghetti sauce right on top like this regular out of the container spaghetti sauce if you like it light then that's what you do don't put too much because the kids kind of want to dip it later okay stick that to the side put all your fillings in here And you know they love cheese, so they load cheese on top of everything. Just put it on in there, just like so. You don't need to oil it. You don't need to oil your sheet. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and put like a garlic butter and all that stuff on top, you can do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split this one in half. But they like it cheesy, so that's what we're going to do. Then I'm going to fold this one over. Come on over here with me and you'll see me press over the sides. You just roll them over like so. And I can probably get two of them on this one. And because we already have oil in the batter, you don't have to put extra oil on your pan, okay? This is a non-sticking pan. So, you roll it up like so. And let that cook that way, okay? I'm going to grab another one. That way, everybody can have one. And they won't be like, where's mine? All right, remember to flour your rolling pin. If you're using a rolling pin, okay? If not, you know. You know, I was going to let them make their own. So, because I know what Carly wants on hers, you know, Alice is a little bit picky. Um, maybe I'll make mine and let her make her own. 
How about that? How about that? But tonight is family fun night, and um, I don't know. It's Cardi's night to pick, so we'll see what she does. Oh, look what I got. Some banana peppers. I love these. These are my absolute favorite things to put on a pizza. So I am going to sit this one over here. And I'm going to stuff that one, okay? All right, come on over here. Let's put some stuffing on there. Let's put some stuffing. I'm going to put cheese on the, on the bottom. No, hold on. Hold on. You got to get your feet. Yes, I am. I'm going to do it that way. That's just the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to put the cheese. Just grab the cheese. Put it on top. Cheese, cheese. This is a cheese lover. She wants cheese on everything. She put cheese everywhere. We'll work all this off later. So don't worry about how much cheese I'm putting on there. We'll work it off later. All right? Put the pepperonis on top. Like this. Just like this. And then I'll sprinkle her some more cheese on top because she's a cheese lover. Okay? Now for mine, I got to put spinach and lettuce and all that good stuff on top. Oh, wait a minute. She's going to want some mushrooms. And she's going to want some onions. And she's going to want some peppers. Because she, yeah, she, yeah. All right. So that's going to be hers. And I'm gonna come on back over here. Let me fold it up. And then we're going to put it in the oven. No sauce on this one. No sauce is going on this one. This is going in the oven like that. We'll fold it up. And then later, they'll take and dip this and their sauce you will take and just dip it in the sauce i'm gonna have to put this one on the angle when i put it in that way it cooks right okay now for all you garlic lovers and butter lovers you can take and sprinkle some regular garlic right on top like that with a little bit of butter. Y'all know I love my butter. I love my butter. I don't do too much without that butter, but I love that butter, so I'll just put a little butter on top to help it brown like so. Okay? Just like that. All right. That is going in that same oven. Let me wash my hands. Get the flour off my hands. I got a messy surface today. Internet is acting up. It's all right. We do what we do when we do what we do. And then I'll come back and clean off my surface. Okay? Don't you go nowhere. Don't you go nowhere. Come on in the kitchen. Come on in the kitchen. Come on in the kitchen. All right. We're looking at about two more minutes on the, um, the, the calzone that we already have in the oven. Two, ten minutes, no, two minutes, it, it'll be done, all right? Let me just wipe my surface off, and then I'll start all over from scratch again. I like to use a flat knife. It helps me pick up the dough. It helps everything work better. So, that's what I'm going to do in my kitchen, and you do what you want in yours. All right, y'all come on in here. Come on in the kitchen. Come on in the kitchen. Oh, come on in the kitchen, let's jam. Look like my, my internet just stopped. Don't know if it's working or don't, but I keep on going. So if you see this later, you'll see it. If you don't, you know, it is what it is. But I hope that you all are staying safe. I hope that you all are well. And I hope that you all are praying for your family, your friends, co-workers, preachers and teachers, everybody. Everybody got to pray. Listen, I am reminded of the scripture, if my people, which are called my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, he said, then will I heal the land and I will forgive you of your sins and all this stuff will be washed away. I believe that and I hope you believe it too. I believe God can do that and I know you believe it too. So let's pray. We pray together. We keep people lifted up. We got to pray. That's the answer, y'all. Let's pray. Let's get our land healed and delivered from this plague and from this sickness and disease. 
because I don't like to see people falling. They fall on every side. It is not good. And, and it is so sad to, um, you know, right now at this point, I'm going on Facebook and I'm going live on places and I'm writing my condolences and my prayers to each and every person. It's like, wow. It's almost unbelievable. But uh, don't fear. Don't fear. Because God ain't giving you the spirit. He has not given you the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. So keep your your mind at peace and you know and keep on loving because perfect love driving all that away all right perfect love driving out fear all right look at what alexandria made today you gonna absolutely love this honey and when she made something she's like you gonna need a drink with that and look at what she made homemade Fresh strawberry and lemonade. That's what she made. Strawberry lemonade. I'm going to take one of these lemons. And I'm going to put it in my glass right here. And then I can pour that in just like so. Look at that. That is fresh, fresh strawberry lemonade. Cheers to you. Mm, that's so good because it has like a little tart to it. It's so good. Make it. Let the kids start making whatever they want to make at this time to keep them going and to keep them just creative and keep them cooking and to keep them excited about something because they may be getting a little bit bored, Trace. You see, girl, this is absolutely so good. Alex made it today. Fresh strawberry lemonade. It's so good. And I was like, now, you know, I only drink water. I only drink water, but it's quarantine, so you might as well go ahead and cheer up. The thing is, when you stop drink, start drinking it, you can't stop because it's so good. Look at how refreshing them. Isn't that pretty? That's it is so so good. All right, so I'm just gonna sit this to the side. Well, all y'all who come in late, let me show you all the fixings that I have, okay? I have over here. Look at all the cheese just about gone. I'm going to have to add more cheese to it. But y'all know I'm not much of a cheese person, so everybody really got what they need. I got turkey in here, turkey pepperoni and turkey salami. I have bell peppers, red and green. have my tomatoes, which I will stuff in later. I stuff my tomatoes and my lettuce and spinach in after my calzone is done. Mushrooms, onions, and all that stuff going in. And you got a tomato, a tomato, well, it's just a spaghetti sauce, forgive me. That's all you got right there. And that's all you need to make your calzone or your pizza. Maybe you don't want one folded over. Maybe you just want a pizza, and that is fine, too. So come on back over here. I have some, oh. Uh, for, you know, look, for all of you who like banana peppers, I absolutely love these. And I think they are yummy. And they make a calzone taste real good. So, get all your fixings. And I have fresh parsley that's going in there. And I have like a garlic butter just for the top, okay? So I'm going to peek in the oven. Come on over here and peek in here and see what I see. <clears throat> Ooh, that almost choked me. <laughs> looking good, looking good. It's browning up. Okay, listen, because you got a choice to go out. If you don't have to go to work, you got a choice whether you go out and surround yourself around people or not, or choose to stay at home and make it whatever you can make it. Make it fun. Make it exciting, make it creative, creative, and make it whatever you want. So that's what you do when you at home. All right, that calzone is getting ready to come on out. Get ready to come on out. Come on out the oven. Come on out the oven. Come on out the oven, calzone. Yeah. Come on out the oven. Come on. Come on out that oven, girl. 
Calzone. Calzone. Yep, that's done. Where is mine? This is my friend right here. This little knife. When I make this, so I flip it over here and flip to make sure it's done on the other side. I'm gonna put a little brown. I want it to be a little brown, so I'm going back in the oven. I'm going back in the oven. It's all right, it's my kitchen, I get to do that. Okay, going back in the oven for about five minutes. Cause you gotta make sure that dough is done, okay? That's what you're doing. That is what you're doing. Come on in the kitchen. Come on in the kitchen. Come on in the kitchen. Look at all this stuff. This kid's got everywhere. They're gonna, they gonna clean up this house. They're gonna clean it up. All right. So, I got my fresh parsley. And I'll just pick up a couple. Because I'm putting everything in my kettle zone. Everything. 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 All right. So, fresh ingredients I'm using today, all but the banana peppers and, and spaghetti sauce. I bought that stuff in front of the store. I bought this, it comes in a jar. I don't even know how to make these fresh if you were. I guess you can, because I've seen yellow peppers in the store. Just don't know how to do it. I have to figure that out. And once I do, I'll show you, okay? All right. So, I hope, I really do, really do hope you all understand safe and practicing safe sanitation. Safe sanitation. I hope you're practicing safe methods of doing things. Because you know, I went to that market the other day and wiped me. I mean, not, I wasn't physically tired, but mentally it kind of drained me. Because they had a sign in the aisle saying one way. I've never ever in my life seen a one way sign put up in you know, homemade signs saying one way only because they didn't want people passing one another in the market and try to keep, you know, distance. So that's what we did. Of course, we had some people trying to stop and talk. I'm like, no, we're not getting ready to have no conversation. Just keep on moving. So that's what's going on now in the world. Hopefully, we don't have to live like this forever. I can't, uh, mm, can't do it. Ah. Can't do it. Can't live like this. Not, not, mm, mm, mm. No. Don't want to. All right. So I'm getting ready to just make my own calzone here. All right. So I get to put a little flour on it. That's pretty much done and empty, right? So that made a good four. Calzones. Look, I got the smallest one. That's not fair. I got the smallest one. And I'm going to have mine open because I'm going to put lettuce and tomatoes and spinach and all that good stuff on mine. That's what I'm going to do. All right. We're having technical difficulties today. I don't know what's going on. The wind is blowing. The wind is heavy here. So, um, yeah, that's what's happening. All right, so I'm getting ready to show you the calzone I'm going to take out of the oven. I had a big old plate. Well, I don't know if that's big enough. I'm going to have to get a bigger one. I'm, I'm going to put it on that plate right there. Come on, let me get you, grab this out of the oven, then I can show you what I'm plating. This calzone is ready. It's ready. That looks good. Look. See? Now, what I'm going to do is just put a little butter and garlic right on top. Just because I can, okay? I'm going to take this and I'm going to, on this plate. Ooh, you can hear a scissor. I got to put that over there. This is nice and hot. Look at this. Look at that. That is doing it today. And if you want to stuff it and put, oh, uh, Tomatoes and all that good stuff inside, you're welcome to do that. But for here, all I do is put a little butter and a little garlic on top. And if you like to dip it in uh, tomato sauce, tomato paste, or whatever, you could do that too. Not tomato paste, but tomato 
sauce. All right, there we go. That is dinner for tonight. I have a piece, and just cut this in half because nobody will eat this big old piece of this calzone. You get to stuff this. Let me show you how good it looks. Cut it. Mm. Ooh, that's hot. See how good that looks? Oh, no, just fold it over just like that. And then we get to enjoy it with a little sauce on the side. John, would you like some sauce with this? And I'll get a little cup. I'll put sauce in it for dipping, okay? Let me grab a little cup. And we can put some sauce in it for the dipping. And this is how we do it on family, family fun night. That's family fun night here in the house with the hatches, okay? There we go. Yummy. Listen, try the dough recipe. Let me know how you like it. All right? It's easy, it's breezy, it's fun, and it's fun for the kids to do, get their hands all messed up and dirty, okay? I love y'all. Listen, I'm going to start doing this at 6 o'clock. PM. That way I get, you know, more people are telling me that they can't watch it because they're at work. So 6 o'clock PM, I'm starting uh, my shows in the kitchen at 6 o'clock PM. So I would love to see you there and follow me on YouTube at Serenity Life and Style. It's me. I love y'all. Help me go like my page, subscribe and become my friend there. I love y'all and you know, I'm going to still be here with you. So Y'all have a good day and enjoy these calzones. All right? Bye. That looks so pretty. That looks gorgeous. Okie dokie. Now I get to make my own. Put my dough. Ooh. 